Michael, it's going to be an intriguing final. Uh, absolutely, Stevie. Big excitement around the village this week as uh, the Cap White Junior Bs are in a, a county final, second year in a row. Uh, so lots of excitement around. Uh, brilliant for the for the lads to be in that final again. Uh, Twelve months on from losing to to Drum and Inch there last year, so uh, a chance of redemption for them. Michael, in relation to losing last year, how is that going to stand to him? Well, I suppose, Stevie, the, the experience of being in the final will, will always stands. Um, and, and I mean, last week we spoke about the experience of Aherlow being in the final the year before and coming up against um, the Galtier Rover side uh, who, who, who were in their first final. Uh, so, look, uh, yeah, look, the lads have been there. They know what to expect this year. Um, I suppose there will still be nerves, but, but at the same time, they, they know what's happening. They know what's, what's ahead of them. Silver mines are the opposition this year? Uh, Silver Mines, yeah, the North champions, they beat Newport in the North final. They had beaten Ballina by a point in the North semi-final. Um, they then went on and uh, they beat uh, Holy Cross, a very good Holy Cross team in the in the, the county quarter final there, uh, a big score. And then they they beat um, Care. They're 119 to 29 in the in the semi-final. Care had um, Tom Delaney, who, who would have been a former county minor playing for them. Um, but yeah, uh, the Mines had a, had a very good victory. Uh, Ronan Kinneen, uh, the corner forward, had, he scored 12 points of their of their 119, 11 from freeze. Um, and then they had um, Sean Spillane and, and Danny Kyo, who, who all had very good games for them as well. So, uh, mine, obviously, uh, any team that comes out of North Tipperary, well able to hurl, good, good, good lads, lots of experience, lots of young, young players on it. So, yeah, look, uh, they, they won't be a bad outfit at all at all. It's, uh, the game is going ahead in Kilcommon. Yeah, Kilcommon 3.30 on, on Saturday. Uh, second uh, county final for Kilcommon in, in 2024 and they, they hosted the Junior A final there in, in 2023. So uh, a, a venue that's well got by the, by the county board. And um, yeah, we, we played our semi-final there against Newport. So obviously we, we, we would know the venue quite well. We played Tracy's up there earlier on in the year as well. So yeah. Capa White are going into this game with two All-Ireland, uh, or well, at least one All-Ireland senior hall in middle with Tomás Costello. But there's great experience as well with Paddy Julian. Yeah, two, two All-Ireland Master winners. Uh, Master medal, winners, with, yeah, medals, correct. Medal Stevie uh, from last weekend. And indeed, on the, on the silver mine side, Niall Curran was also part of that Masters panel. Um, it, Niall Curran, of course, from uh, formerly of, of Mulnahone, now now uh, residing in, in silver mine. So, yeah, look, uh, Thomas and Paddy bring huge experience to to that that junior B team, um, Thomas playing at playing at full back, Paddy in the middle of the field, uh, and Paddy lost none of his energy. Stevie, he's still as lively as he was when he was an eighteen year old uh, breaking onto the team. Uh, Paddy actually has two West Junior B. Well, th- th- this year was his third West Junior B medal. He won his first two back in in ninety seven and ninety eight. So that's um, it's a fair achievement and a fair gap between the between the second and the third medal. There's no favourites in this game. No, it's very hard. I mean, I suppose when when we would never have played silver mines, certainly not at um, at junior B level uh, in a in a long number of years. The mines have. Um the Mines are going for their second title. They won in 1997. Uh, Kappa have, have never won this title. Uh, this, is, they won, this year was their fifth West title. Uh, and as I said at the start, our second uh, final only in a, in a row. So, um, yeah, I suppose the farm line is probably Newport. Um, the Mines beat Newport by two points in the North final, 2-14 to 18. And we beat Newport in the county semi-final, 18 points to 15. So very little, I would say, between the sides. Uh, very, very little as regards who, who is favourites and, and who isn't. Who else would you be looking to on the Capo side now to shine on this coming Saturday? So I suppose also in the full back line there we have Noel Ryan. Um, he played intermediate hurling there last year and he, he he's back with the juniors uh, this year playing a very important role there at corner back. Um, uh, at centre back, Kieran Ryan P, uh, another guy with loads and loads of experience, would have heard seen her with 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 Kappa back to back to years, and of course Michael O'Neill, son of of the great Fox Nail, uh, plays at centre forward, and and he brings an awful lot of experience to the to the team as well. Young guns, I suppose. Uh, Keno Carroll was probably man of the match in the in the. 
the county semi-final playing at wing back Neely Clancy there in, in, in the middle of the field uh, and I suppose uh, a, a young guy who, who only came out of Borden Oak there last year Brian Gerard Buckley uh, he, he plays at, at corner forward He's got uh, great potential then great, great potential great speed he had a couple of injuries during the year he, he had a, a collarbone issue uh, twice actually uh, once uh, the second time after just after, not long after coming back Was it in uh, uh, ACL? Yes an, an ACL oh, injury, or yeah. a, a Giant, an AC giant, an AC uh, giant, and yeah. The, yeah. Um, but he he's back now. He he uh, came on as a sub uh, early on the time, and he started the last two the two games. So it's good to have him back. Uh, great for him to be playing in a in a. County final in his first year at that. But he was still kind of confident enough, even though he had a, I, a serious I, shoulder. I suppose injury. he was nervous of it at the start, but but after playing a couple of games, he's back in the in, in the run, run of things now, Stevie. Michael, for Capo Wise, if they were to win it, what would it mean to the parish and to the club? Uh, I suppose ca- county finals are are not easily won, and I mean They're hard uh, to come by. Ha- hard to come by, and and like a lot of people would say, oh, Capo White, a, a good hurling hurling club. You know, there's very little county finals um, in in our history, Stevie. You know, um, we, we have a 21B going back to 18. You have a 21A back in 1999, um, and then you have to go back to to uh, 1987 for a senior. You know, uh, county finals are hard won. Uh, there's lots of teams uh, within the county. Everyone has a goal of winning it. But for for the parish, brilliant. Everyone loves to see the, jun- the juniors doing well in no matter what club you go to. Um, everyone, everyone. I suppose it's a, a bit of a, an underdog story, but um, yeah, the, it, it would be, it means a lot. It would not to be putting, I suppose, pressure on them. But it, you know, winning, winning breeds winning, and, and a winning mentality and just getting over the line would be huge for and the for the club. It certainly breeds success as well, don't it? Yeah, but you have to get a good start, Michael. Yeah, you have to get. You have, absolutely. Uh, as I said, uh, any team that comes out of the north, well able to well able to play hurling, will be expected. Uh, Silver Mine, similar to Newport, to come out all guns blazing like the, um, like like Newport did in the semi final. Uh, the mines are coming in. They they they'll be wanting to obviously they'll be wanting to win it. They'll be thinking they can win it, and there won't be very much I I would imagine between the sides at the end. Well, all we can do is wish both teams the very best of luck, and in particular from the west, it is Cap and White on this coming Saturday, three thirty in Kilcommon. Michael, thank you again for joining me. No problem at all, Stevie.